if I told you your CPU is wasting power and leaving FPS on the table? Right now, in this video, we're diving deep to unleash the full speed of your processor and eliminate the hidden bottlenecks killing your performance. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. First, search for Performance in Windows Search and select the Performance Monitor option from the results. In this step, we're going to set up a performance tracking tool to improve CPU usage during gaming. Once the monitor opens, navigate to the left sidebar and expand the Data Collector Sets section by double-clicking it. Next, click on User Defined. Right-click here and choose New, then Data Collector Set. A window will pop up asking for a name. Type CPU Boost in the field. After that, select Create Manually and click Next to move on. On the next screen, you'll see various options. Ensure you check the box for Performance Counter, then hit Next. Now it's time to add a counter, so click the Add button. A new window will open, showing several categories. Choose Processor from the list, and below that, you'll see Available Instances. Select the highest number listed for your system. For example, if 7 is the highest, select that number. After making your selection, click Next, then Finish to complete this part. At this stage, you should see CPU Boost added to the list, but it will be marked as Stopped. To activate it, right-click on CPU Boost and select Start. Once started, you can close the window and the performance tracker will run in the background. All right, guys, now we're moving on to one of the most powerful tools to unlock your CPU's full potential, Quick CPU. To download it, just head over to my website, uptopax.com. The link is available in the description below. Once you're on the site, navigate to the FPS Boost tab. There, look for the post that has the same thumbnail and title as the video you're currently watching. Click on that post and you'll find the full download pack waiting for you. Start with the General tab. Apply tweaks like enabling exclusive full screen mode, which minimizes Windows interruptions during gaming. Also, disable the Xbox Game Bar. It runs background processes and collects telemetry. Turn off Startup Telemetry as well to prevent unnecessary tracking. Disabling mouse acceleration from this menu is a must for gamers as it ensures precise, responsive cursor movement. Also, disable power saving mode and redundant system services. These tweaks release additional CPU power and free up background resources. The tool even includes an option to remove bloatware like trial software and pre-installed games. Switch to the Advanced tab for deeper tweaks. Disable Power Forward Link to eliminate hidden CPU throttling. Apply memory tuning to ensure RAM runs efficiently. Also, tweak the hardware data queue size for improved mouse and keyboard response. Great for shooters and fast-paced games. Then move to the Storage tab to perform cleanup tasks. Run disk cleanup, remove temp files, clear logs, and free up junk that eats into storage and slows down your system. These small steps make a big difference in CPU and disk responsiveness. In the Windows tab, activate settings to show hidden folders for better access, disable notifications to reduce distractions, and turn off clipboard history to save RAM. Also turn off Windows transparency effects from here if you haven't already. This will cut back on system strain and help your CPU focus on real performance. After applying all tweaks, restart your PC to lock in the optimizations. You'll immediately notice better responsiveness, higher FPS, and smoother gameplay. Now let's take CPU control a step further using a powerful app called Park Control. Download and install it, then launch the program. Select the Bitsum Highest Performance Profile. Make sure both Parking AC and Parking DC are set to 100% and disabled. These settings ensure all CPU cores stay active during gaming, which boosts performance in CPU-bound titles. Enable Dynamic Boost to keep all threads awake under load and optionally check the box for Show Power Plan Change Notifications. Now go to your Windows Power Options, select Bitsum Highest Performance, click Make Active, and then hit Apply. Check that the bars in Park Control are fully green, which confirms your CPU is unlocked and running at peak capability. If some bars are grey outside of gaming, that's normal. Click OK and close the app. It will auto-start with Windows from now on. 
Next, open the CPU priority folder and pick the one that matches your CPU, Intel or AMD. If you're using an Intel processor, go into the Intel folder and run the file. AMD users should open the AMD folder and do the same. These files are specially designed to change CPU priority handling in Windows, helping direct more resources to your games. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Next, open your Windows search and type Registry Editor, then right-click and run it as an administrator. Once you're in, paste the first registry path from the video description into the address bar and hit Enter. This path leads you to settings that manage CPU core parking, a feature that can throttle performance by idling CPU cores. Disabling core parking ensures all your CPU cores remain fully active and responsive while gaming, giving you more stable and consistent FPS. Next, locate a key named Max within the editor. Right-click it, choose Modify, and change the value data to 100. Set the base to hexadecimal before clicking OK. This tweak forces your CPU to always operate at full power. Now, do the same with the minimum key. Set its value to zero, base it on hexadecimal, and click OK. These adjustments prevent the CPU from downscaling during load, improving responsiveness. For added performance, go to the second registry path from the description, which prioritizes foreground applications. Find Win32 Priority Separation, right-click it, and set its value data to 26, with the base again set to hexadecimal. Click OK and exit. These registry tweaks ensure your CPU remains aggressive and performance focused when gaming. Now head over to the search bar and type show animations in Windows. Open the result and disable the toggle. These animations, while sleek, consume processing power that could otherwise be used for gaming. You'll instantly notice a snappier desktop experience after turning this off. Next, disable show transparency in Windows. This subtle visual layer actually increases GPU and CPU load, which is not ideal for lower-end setups or performance-focused gaming rigs. In the next step, type Advanced System Settings into the search bar and click the result. Under the Performance section, hit Settings. Inside the Performance Options window, switch to the Advanced tab. Here, under Processor Scheduling, select Programs. This ensures your system directs more CPU power to the game or app you're currently using, rather than background tasks. This simple change alone can make a significant difference in frame pacing and input responsiveness during intense gaming sessions. Now switch over to the Visual Effects tab and choose Adjust for Best Performance. This will disable all extra eye candy to free up memory and processing power. After that, scan the list and manually re-enable any effects you find important, such as Animate windows when minimizing, maximizing. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Smooth edges of screen fonts. These tweaks help maintain usability while maximizing raw performance. Hit apply, then OK, and close the window. Last but not least, search for system configuration and then click on it from the results. Once the window opens, navigate to the boot tab at the top. From here, click on advanced options to reveal additional settings. Inside, you'll see an option labeled Number of Processors. Check the box to enable it. Now, click the drop-down menu and select the highest number available. For example, 
If your system shows a maximum of 8, select 8. If it shows 4, 16 or another number, always choose the highest option to unlock the full potential of your CPU. Once you've made your selection, click OK. Next, head over to the Services tab. Start by checking the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services. This ensures you don't accidentally disable any critical system services. After that, go through the remaining services and disable any that you don't need. Once you've made your selections, click Apply, then restart your PC. Restarting will apply the changes and further optimize your system for better performance. Once all these optimizations are applied, your CPU will be running at its full potential, delivering faster frame rates, smoother gameplay, and a far more responsive experience across all your favorite games. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Peace out.